Baby Warrant is your girl Leaky Nine Nine coming at you today with a review of this product I saw in Walmart yesterday. Um, we were gonna have a winter storm today, which wasn't that bad, but I was trying to, you know, get some cereals, some, you know, the essentials from my house, and I was up in the makeup section and. I was looking for this, not per se at Walmart, but at CVS, because it was in their circular on sale this week. Buy one, get one, 50% off. And they didn't have it. I swear I went to all the CVS's, Walgreens, and Rite Aid's in my area, and by my job. And I could not find this up until last night when I went to Walmart. Okay, the product that I'm talking about is a Sally Hansen's product. It is nail polish strips okay. the box looks like this and right here in the nail portion would be the design um, I'll put a picture of this particular item in the screen here but it's called Sally Hansen Salon Effects Real Nail Polish Strips Last up to 10 days, no dry time, peel and apply. And you remove it with nail polish. Now, the item are, of course, you know, nail polish strips, but they remind me of Minx. I don't know if you guys ever heard about it, but it's also um, a nail polish foil, or some of them are nail polish strips, but they, celebrities mostly wear them. Where they have the, their nail art designs practically like pasted onto their fingernails. So, this is, they come, of course, in the box. And they come in these packets. Oh, I don't know if that, they come in packets like this. As you can see, packets like that. This is the, the design. I did one hand. So this is the design. Zebra. So I painted all of my nails black. And I put it here. And I'm going to show you how to do it on this hand. I'll post pictures at the end. But they come in this packet. And you know you peel it back. Now it's two packets. I already opened up one. And the strips... Let me get a big a thumb finger. The strips look like this. If you could see it. And what you do, oh, also in the packet is instructions. So I'm not making this up. They have instructions on how to apply it. Um, it comes with an orange wood stick to smooth out the nail strip onto your nail. And it comes with a buffer type um, emery board stick to buff the excess nail polish strip off of your nail. That's what comes in the box. Um, back to the strip. So what they tell you to do is first peel off the clear strip in the front and then the white priming paper off the back. Put it onto your nail. Smooth it onto your nail. Well, be, well you put it onto your nail you pull this tab off and then you take your orange wood stick smooth the corner around the corners right and then the excess you buff off now since I only did one finger the excess that I buff, buffed off I could use on this finger so what I personally did with mine, I, I applied it, put it on, smoothed it out, buffed off the excess, and then I put a Sheck V top coat on top because I like all of my nails to be uniformly shiny. I love this top coat. It makes my nail polishes last like two weeks. Yeah. So check it out. Sheck V. You can find this at Sally's, I believe, for $7.95. Not on a sale day. So, this is... 
It fell on the floor, so I don't know if it'll stick. But this is the excess from what I buffed off of this finger. So I'm going to see if I could apply it to this finger. So, okay. My nail, all oh, your nails have to be clean. So, all excess, you know, nail polish, buff the, take it off if you have any, um, ridges like I do from wearing acrylics you have to smooth that out and you know and reboard your real nails so that it's not jagged at the at the tips because you need a smooth application for your nail polish strips so okay this is how I do it so you put the curved part down to your cuticle Okay, I have to put this towards facing me so I could see. I'm going to try to do it as possible in the camera so you could see. Okay, this is the nail, right? Just stick the strip on. Smooth it down. I don't think this is going to stick due to the fact that it dropped on the floor and stuck to my carpet oh I think it's doing a little something okay plus my Sheck V would seal it in too but basically this is how it looks right so you smooth down the, the corners at the side with your finger then you take your orange wood stick and smooth it down even more okay I have to do that down here right so once and they also say you could stretch it it's stretchable so if you have big fingers fingernails sorry um you could um, stretch these nail polish strips to your nail. Okay, I got it down. Now I take this portion of the emery board, the darker pink side, and I basically, you have to basically bend it a little bit so that it can get the free edge of your nail. okay guys so I have it up on the, my finger if you can see yes you can see it now I'm gonna take one coat of my Chef V type coat and putting on the top and this pretty this dries within like I would say five seconds And you're done. One coat of check feet. And you're done. So this is a nice alternative if you want, you know, minx nails but can't afford it. They have a, a spot in Brooklyn that I know of that does it. And to get two of these fingers done, $28. If you want all 10 fingers done, $55. And this is with just your real nails, a manicure. If you do it on acrylic nails, it's more. So, you can't beat it. Oh, I didn't mention the price. In Walmart, these were $8.50. From what I hear in the drugstores, they're $9.99. And with buy one, get one half, you could get two boxes for $15. So, I mean, they're not in my area as yet in the drugstores. So, I have to bite the bullet and buy it in Walmart for $8.50, which is not bad. Um, two boxes will come out to be $17. So, you know what I mean? I would just save $2 if I bought it at the Bible Get One, half at the drugstores. Um, let me show you the other um, 
nail polish strips that I purchased. Okay, the other nail polish strips that I bought were are this. It's like the, what's it, ruched or the checkerboard looking type of nails. This looks like tweed material to me. Um, They call it, there's names on these too. Oh, this is called Check It Out. Check it out. This is the pattern here. Same, same instructions, same, um, you know, inserts that are in this zebra looking one, which they call Wild Child. The Wild Child, same type of packaging. So I have a lot of orange wood sticks now and emery boards. So I got this one. I got Kitty Kitty, which is the leopard print. And I got this one. It looks like fishnet stockings. Ooh. So, I got all four of these. So, I spent $34 for four boxes at Walmart last night. So, I got these three plus my zebra print that I put on for you guys today and I think it's worth it they have a lot of neon colors they have another lace design that looks like like lace lace lace, lace like lace gloves or you know lace lingerie it looks it's lace um they had a denim print uh what else did I see they have other stuff, but what I'm looking for is the chrome. You know, like the real chrome nail strips. I'm on the hunt for that. If anyone knows, please comment or send me a personal message and let me know where I can find it. But these could do for now. This could save me $55 from getting a Minx manicure down here in Brooklyn. So... I'll be posting pictures at the end of my nails. Um, you may see me with all the nails designed. But I just wanted to do a one finger thing. This seems to be the style in New York. Like You paint all your fingers and your ring finger is the dramatic one. So I figure I'll follow suit with this. And this is my Minx. Well, my nail polish strip. And I give this a five star. Five star one because it saves me money. And two is, a, I would say, a great dupe to Minx nails. And it lasts 10 days. It probably lasts even more with my Sheck V. It's all about saving and looking good. Alright guys, I hope this was helpful. If anybody's been, you know, on the fence about getting these strips, they work, they're good, and they last. Alright, bye.